them. Then we are up bright and early to swim with the manatees. Austin is currently on the second round of pumping the paddleboard because while we have so many fun things, we have yet to buy an automatic pump. I don't know what it is. The sun is just rising over here in Crystal River and it's in the 40s, so that never feels good. Honestly, I thought it'd feel worse though, so I'm feeling pretty optimistic about it. I don't think Austin's doing very good. This sucks. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna take you guys along with our whole day just swimming with manatees and everything you need to know if you wanna do this yourself. This is Hunter Springs Park and it is my favorite place because it has public access. For super small fee, you can park here and then it has a beach that you can actually hang out at and the manatees are just right here, but it's also a great place to launch your kayak and get over to the more popular springs. The Crystal River is made up of a ton of different springs that you can find the manatees at. But today we are heading over to Three Sister Springs, which is one of my favorites. And I want to show you guys exactly how I get there so you guys can replicate it too. So like I said, we start at Hunter Springs, as you can see here on the map. Here is the beach, and then over to the right here is the place where you're going to launch your kayak. I want to make a right right here, and then head all the way down until you'll see a marina. You're then going to paddle all the way around the marina and all the way down until you see this bridge. It makes a lot more sense when you have it on your map and you can see exactly where you are. So as you follow your map under the bridge and then all the way down, this is when you're going to start to see so many of the manatees and it'll lead you straight to here, Three Sister Springs. So this is the area where you launch your paddleboard. You have to pay a parking fee if you park in this lot and also a launching fee. And then over there, you just have a whole beach. So this is a really nice area just to hang out if you want to come to Crystal River. Guys, look at all that fog since it's so cold out and technically the water is warm. <laughs> it creates this whole fog over everything. So we're going to be paddling down that way. Florida is just naturally so pretty. So even if you don't see a manatee, which you will, this is totally worth it. I don't think I've ever been on such a pretty paddle. Manatees are popping up literally everywhere around us. It's so quick that I can like barely catch it on camera, but they are everywhere. But we're trying not to get distracted because that's what happened last time we were here like a month ago. And by the time we made it to the springs, there's so many people there. So we're headed straight there now. Even though the manatees are so cute, they can't stop us. I'm so excited because it's going to be gorgeous. There are so many tours out there already, but the water is so clear. <laughs> I'm so excited to get in. Austin has the anchor, so basically to the right of the springs here, there is just a huge amount of, I don't know what you'd call this, vegetation and a sandy bottom. So we just bring an anchor and leave it out here. Last time we were here, there was tons of people doing the same thing, and then we swim on over. Today we'll be taking photos in our water housing. This is an Aquatech water housing, and, and inside we have our Canon 5D Mark III with a 16 to 35 millimeter lens. Surprisingly, this is my first time bringing our water housing out to the springs. So this is what I'm actually most excited for. We're gonna get like the best photos ever.
The manatees are everywhere on our oh, paddle back. There's three right there. Yeah, three, four. No. We're just trying to paddle back and there are so many everywhere. A whole little pack of them. Hey, they're so cute. Here is another area where they're all just hanging out. You can see all their homes and then back there, there's so many, but you probably can't see that. There's one right behind you. Thank you. <laughs> It is now a nice 59 degrees out, which honestly feels so much better than the previous 41. 41, I was trying not to be a baby, but my hands were really hurting. And my toes, I was doing a lot better than Austin, but it was rough out there. And the water was freezing the entire time. I was shaking and trying to troop it out. But now, honestly, the sun feels so good. Ooh. Overall, at first I was a little disappointed. The clarity mm, would have been better later on, but later on there's gonna be a lot more people, so I got the manatees all to myself. I can't find a win. I am so excited to share all the photos we took, and I hope you take this guide and are able to go explore Crystal River as well.